come again It's just as well I'm not invited I'm afraid of heights I lied about being the outdoor type Never learned to swim, can't grow a beard or even fight I lied about being the outdoor type Thank you for listening. I shall see you on the other side. This is Radio 2. On BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at nine o'clock. This is Justine Green. The US Coast Guard has confirmed that debris found near the wreck of the Titanic belongs to the missing tourist submersible. All five people on board are dead, among them three British citizens, including a father and son. Contact was lost with the mini-sub on Sunday. Parts of the craft, called Titan, were spotted by remote control vehicles sent two miles down in the Atlantic. The official in charge of the search, Rear Admiral John Morgan, spoke at a news conference in Boston in the past hour. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. David Mins is a marine scientist and oceanographer from the UK who specialises in searching for shipwrecks. He's also a friend of the British billionaire Hamish Harding, who was on board the craft. The only solace in any of it is that they didn't suffer for four days. But still, the outcome is the same. Five men are not coming home, five families and are devastated. And we're left questioning, you know, why did that happen? The Bank of England has said it won't rule out further increases to the cost of borrowing after raising its main interest rate by half a percentage point in an attempt to tackle inflation. The base rate has reached 5%, its highest level in 15 years. Rail workers are to go on strike for three days next month in their long-running dispute about pay and conditions. The RMT union says about 20,000 of its members at 14 train companies will walk out on the 20th, 22nd and 29th of July. Events have taken place to mark 75 years since the first group of the Windrush generation arrived in the UK. The celebrations have been described as bittersweet because of the scandal when many of the Windrush generation were threatened with deportation. Amelia Gentleman, who's written a book about it, says many of those affected have struggled to get compensation from the Home Office. Lawyers who are trying to help people say that the 44-page compensation scheme application form is too complicated. It takes up to 40 hours to get a solicitor to try and help somebody to fill in that form. And that people are expected to have bits of paper proving that something happened to them a decade ago. Many people just don't have that documentation. Winnie Ewing, who was the SNP 